It's the tallest residential building in the Western Hemisphere, the luxurious 432 Park at 56th Street. Councilman Ben Kalo says architect Rafael Vignoli got a quarter of this super tall height by exploiting what's known as the mechanical voids loophole, and it was totally legal. They're building these mechanical voids to prop up real estate so that these billionaires can have multi-million dollar helicopter views, and that's not why we should be building buildings. Kalo says the firm is trying to do the same thing at this empty lot on East 62nd Street to offer tenants more expensive views. And they're not alone. Mechanical spaces are used to put equipment like AC and heating units. But critics say some developers are making that space unnecessarily large, as you can see here, and leaving it mostly empty just to make the building taller than would typically be allowed. In parts of the city, like here on the Upper East Side or Billionaire's Row near 5th and Central Park, these mechanical voids do not count towards zone flooring. Today, the City Council Zoning Committee considered a proposal to change that. This practice is an abuse of current zoning. The Department of City Planning recommends in part counting any mechanical voids that are taller than 30 feet. Engineer Ed Bosco represents 300 firms with the American Council of Engineering Companies of New York. He says 30 feet will work for some construction. Some spaces can be built shorter, some need to be taller, but the, the complexity of buildings and the variety of buildings uh, really doesn't give you a single solution for everything. A spokesperson for Rafael Vignoli had no comment. The entire city council is expected to vote on this by the end of the month. On the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS2 News.